Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. This is the big 4-0, episode number 40. Damn, it, it means that FIFA Early Access has been out for around 40 days. I think we've only missed one daily upload so far, uh, which is kind of crazy. So, you know what the team's looking like. You've seen it in action quite a lot over the last couple episodes where uh, we were competing in the Weekend League. And uh, out of the 20 games I played in the Weekend League, we were able to get 14 wins uh, and we were able to get Gold 3. So, really looking forward to Thursday uh, where we can actually get some pretty cool rewards. So, um, I wanted to to start today's episode off doing a couple of SBCs from things that I had in my club. Um, one was called Ferocious Beasts, which got us a premium gold players pack. The other one is Marquee Matchups. Was able to complete that one for very, very cheap. Uh, only had to buy like a couple of players, and you'll see that in a moment. Uh, and then, well, there's a couple of challenges that we need to do to unlock a couple more foot swap players. So far, I think I've missed two foot swap players. One was a squad battles weekly objective, uh, which I just didn't play squad battles th that week. I didn't have the time. And the other one was a daily objective when I wasn't even in the country. So I, you know, I couldn't play it. But um, people are telling me that there are 14 foot swaps available. So as long as we get the, the final few, uh, we should have 12 in total, which means I will be able to unlock either Lalana or El Shirawi. I think I'm probably going to go El Shirawi. Um, or do we go pack? I don't know. I don't know. What are you guys going to do? Some of you probably already got 12 uh, and unlocked a player. Which one did you get? I want to know. Anyone got El Shirawi right now? Is he any good? Like, is it worth my time getting him or do we just get a pack and hope to get lucky? I just don't know. Um... So that's kind of what's going through my head at the moment in terms of foot swap and stuff. You can see what I completed and submitted for marquee matchups here as well. Uh, I literally had to buy like three or four players and I, they were all rare golds that I got for discard price at 650 coins. So um, yeah, just, just I, I basically had everything still in the club. Even though I kind of emptied my club quite a lot uh, for... What was it? What did I do? Oh, all of those UCL player packs. Those two player packs from Champions League. Uh, I, I did about 10 of them in the end, which meant that I, I emptied my club of all of the, the gold players that I had. So uh, we're starting to build that up again. And things like marquee matchups. Although we submit a bunch of players, we get a lot back from uh, from the reward packs. So that's obviously good. Um, and, oh, oof. Let me not forget, we've got, you know, two minutes on into the video so far, and uh, I've forgotten to ask you guys to smash a like on the video. The support on the last couple has been incredible. Thank you so much for that. Uh, if we can continue that, like, let's aim for 1,500 likes today. That would be amazing. I'd be buzzing to see that when I look, check out the old video stats later on. Um, so, marquee matchups complete, and we're going to get five different packs to open. They were, like, considering I hadn't really spent anything really like a couple of thousand coins to complete this uh, it made me feel like you know what the packs aren't too bad this week uh, and I seem to remember completing it on my main account for a video last week thinking you know what we get a couple of half decent packs uh, even if you don't get any luck from it it's still uh, worth the time if you've got the players in your club because there wasn't any one from this week's marquee matchups which skyrocketed in price which really boosts the price up um, which I absolutely love it means that it's it's kind of like open for everyone to really compete uh, to complete and, and and you know not have to worry about paying 10k for a random bronze because they're super pro price fix this week and stuff. I like it when it's not like that. I know it kind of screws the traders a little bit, but you know, if you're if you're a good trader on this game, you can make money in different ways than just uh, preparing and guessing on what SBCs are going to come, you know? So uh, obviously people will still be making money left, right and center. Like we made some money on Verratti, right? We made, we'd made really good money on Verratti and that was just like more of a the 86s will rise at some point in time and then we just so just so happen that we got icon sbcs a few days later uh, after we bought him which is mean you know means that we obviously made some very very good money um Although I still have all those Jonasses in my transfer list, like 25 or 26 Jonasses, uh, which I bought for like 1.8k. Pretty sure he's under that at the moment. We, what we need is the guaranteed Team of the Week packs, which I'm pretty sure we get around the Black Friday time of the year. So maybe three or four weeks time if that stuff happens again, then... You know, we we might make some money, but it just means that I'm uh, I'm holding on to players for ages where I'd, I should have probably sold them when they were at 3k and made a bit more bank. Um, 
So the next thing you're going to see me do, well, you're not actually going to see me do it because I don't really want to put Squad Battles gameplay in there, is that there was a daily objective. Some people didn't have this, which baffle like mind blown i can't believe that everyone doesn't have the same objectives uh but i had one where if i scored in two separate squad battles wins if i scored three goals on professional or higher which is pretty much what i play anyway right i just play on professional and and relax so i got like a 5-1 win and 8-0 win uh so i easily completed my challenge uh, and it meant that we were going to be able to unlock ourselves another foot swap player which was a really nice and easy one to get uh and the week one is going to be the more difficult one to, to, to actually obtain. So uh, Zagadu from Dortmund is our new player, and actually he's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth foot swap player we're going to unlock. So uh, if we get the new one from the weekly, well, not the new one, but the one from the current weekly objectives, uh, which is four division rivals wins. That is our, our next main goal here um, before Friday night is to get four division rivals wins, and that's that's tougher than it sounds because. I've reached my peak. I've reached my level of skill uh, in Division 4. And do you know what I don't like on those ones is when it forces you to play rivals. Because if you are someone in Division 1, you're going to be getting much more difficult games than someone who might be slumming it in Division 6. So I don't feel like it's... Uh, uh, it almost should be like... Uh, I don't know. Get... I don't, what can you even do to make that... It's, okay, so it would be like achieve a thousand foot champs qualification points you know the points that you get from each uh for, from each win or each draw or each loss which uh, you know move you up towards that foot champions qualification if there was like a a fuel bar like that that you got to try and fill then if you're in a lower division it's going to take you longer to unlock the foot swap player um but you're still he's still going to be attainable and then if you're in a higher division you'll get there quicker so i feel like that would be an amazing way and like later down the year and stuff when it comes to, uh, like, guaranteed, or not guaranteed, but TOTS players that you get from, you know, last year we had the, or from the past couple of years, in a daily knockout tournament, you could win yourself, sorry, uh, you, you all thought your phones went off again. That happens, like, every other episode. I do apologize. Um, but, yeah, like, in where you could unlock these uh, TOTS players from the daily knockout tournament, like, if that was the case in Division Rivals this year, it should really be like a, a fuel bar. If you fill the fuel bar up, then you win the player, which means everyone should have enough to win the player uh, and a, a good chance to win the player. But if you're in a higher division, you are going to unlock him so much quicker. I feel like that's the only skill-based and like decent way to, to make people stay in those higher divisions as well as making it fairer for those unlocking the players. So... What do you think about that? Is that a fairly decent idea? I don't know if that would ever be implemented, but uh, it's something which I, I think could work really quite well and would be the fairest way to do it. Um, because we don't really have tournaments or anything this year to win those TOTS players. Uh, how are we ever going to get them? You know, it, it, I'm curious. So, so yeah, we're 1-1 in this game and I've been waffling on throughout the whole gameplay, but uh, I'm not going to lie. It was a very tough match that I was struggling to get anything in. I got my one goal, but that I was very lucky to draw that one, to be fair. But what that does mean is that that's one game that we've played now where we haven't got a win, which means it's, we're still at zero uh, wins for this foot swap player. So it's going to be difficult. I, I can just tell it's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, it doesn't matter about, you know, You can ignore our foot champions qualification points right now because come Thursday we will unlock another 2,000 uh, and beat all good. Uh, we're chilling in the middle of rank 3 which is pretty much where I'm always at uh, for my rivals rewards. Absolutely fine with that as well. Uh, and the next game we go into is, well, a, a nice team. He's got Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva. Paul Pogba, player of the month, Lucas. He's also got a 92 rated Neymar, Cavani, a red Fabian from Napoli. Like, what a team. Really nice squad. Uh, so I was expecting a very, very tough game. Uh, and, I, and as soon as I saw the squad, I was like, God, it's probably going to be a loss or a draw, isn't it? I'm not gonna, exactly going to walk away with a win in this game. Uh, but Lucas pushes down the line, crosses it into an empty Neymar. He's just so free. He's so free. Where's my defense? And I go 1-0 down uh, to the 92-rated Brazilian who scores his header. Uh, and that annoys me even more that someone like Neymar scoring a header. Uh, but I guess just because he's so free uh, with no defenders around him, of course he can still score a header. Uh, but I wish my centre-back was there to give him an aerial battle. Now Neymar gets through again. It forces a good save out of Testagen, But it literally drops right into the feet of Lucas. And I go 2-0 down. And I'm like, well, there we go. 
no, that was a completely pointless match. I might as well quit. But then I was like, no, maybe we can get back into this one still. Uh, and then when I get the... Thought I was going to score, didn't you? You thought I was going to score. Uh, Mbappe misses the target from the kickoff goal. Uh, however, I do manage to get inside of the defender and stick this one into the back of the net just a few moments later. Uh, so actually... 2-0 becomes 2-1 and it's so early in this game that there's still a chance for me to get back into it. Uh, I nearly score again with Mbappe, uh, a nice couple of sort of body feints and stuff to get past the defenders. However, Cavani plays it through to player of the month, Lucas, who is super, super quick. And I do catch him, but not quick enough because he's able to, with his three-star weak foot, hit that one. I'm guessing kind of low driven uh, into the back of the net. It wasn't very driven, but it was low, so I'm assuming that's what he pressed button-wise to score that goal. Uh, I get really lucky with a couple of dodgy bounces, and it falls to Firmino, and I'm pretty sure that's a kickoff goal that I was able to achieve. Um... So as much as this guy wants to let this game get away from me, I'm still hanging in there a little bit, trying my very best to, to not <laughs> to not lose. Uh, now, I, I thought that ball was going to come out from the goalkeeper straight into the path of Cavani again, but it, it didn't quite happen. Uh, Goretzka from the free kick plays it into Mbappe. I smack him with a green time finesse, uh, like literally all of my other goals, and we get the equalising goal in a game where, again, I probably didn't deserve anything. Uh, I play it through to Royce there, and what a save from Buffon to stop me actually taking the lead in this game. It was only towards the very end that I felt as though maybe I would come away with the win, um, however, he goes down the other end and Rousselon gives a penalty away. <sighs> really frustrating. He doesn't get sent off, but he does give a penalty away. And then um, I, this guy brought on a Dutch player. I guess he was trying to unlock Daily Blind. And uh, for some reason, I thought he was going to go left and he didn't. And then he hit it down the middle. So uh, he goes back into the lead. Half an hour left in this game. Is there any chance I can pull this one back? Obviously, Hyung Min Sun comes onto the pitch. Uh, I try and play it through to Firmino right there. Terrible through ball. Good running out from the goalkeeper. And it stops me from getting back into this game. However, Sun plays it into Rousselon. Into Bobby Firmino. To Mbappe. And obviously, once again, we hit him with probably our fourth finesse shot of the game to score our fourth goal of the game. Uh, and another draw is what happens. So this is what I'm on about when I'm telling you guys it's going to be difficult for me to unlock this foot swap player if i'm not able to then we we just have to go for a pack because i don't think there's enough left for me to unlock uh lalana or el sharawi i have it's vital that i get this one and then whatever the next one is i'm guessing ea are going to release an sbc at some point um I'm going to have to get that, otherwise I, I will have failed and, and we won't have enough to, to get the player. So uh, they've not left it very, like, they've only given you a, a tiny bit of leeway to miss out on a couple if you're not going to, or if you are going to unlock these players. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. So it seems like it's not the average player that can get the ones in foot rivals, yet the players that we're, like, working towards are kind of still a little bit average. I hope that if foot swap is a thing going forwards, that the players that are on offer are slightly more usable and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit torn between that one. It's like the rewards are for the casuals, yet the uh, the ways to unlock them are for the more hardcore or the more daily users and stuff. It's a bit of a strange one to me. Uh, but guys, do me a favor. Smash a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy. Like I said, if we can hit 1,500 likes, I would be buzzing. Thank you so much in advance. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.